Good morning. This is Coffee Break Reflection. I'm Pastor Jerry Scott. Can you believe it's May 2021 already? May 3rd. I recently finished a task and stepped back to evaluate the outcome, and I was happy for the effort. Unlike the farmer of the past who planted in the springtime and tended the field through the summer and gathered the harvest in the autumn, a lot of us work in ways in which our efforts are far removed from any actual physical or visible result. Oh yeah, our farmer grandparents, they they grew exhausted, but it was a different kind of tired than many of us experience. They lived with more a sense of rhythm in the seasons and, and the flow of life. They had to stop working at dark. They weren't plugged in 24-7 like many of us are. There were downtimes built into their seasonal lives. Not so with us. So what's one of the most common things that happens to us today? Yeah, people say, I'm just worn out. And they really are. Christian, are you one of those people who's just weary, worn out? Has life fatigue flowed over into your faith experience, dulling your soul to the experience of God's presence? Have you abandoned any regular time of worship or prayer or meditation because you're just too tired? Here, I want to tell you something. God offers his people rest. Hang with me this morning. Important message. That rest that we can find in God is one of those benefits too often left untouched. We fail to recognize the amazing renewal of heart and mind and even body that can be found in the spiritual disciplines. When we worship as Jesus taught in spirit and in truth, we learn new ways of living, purposeful, meaningful lives found that protect us from that fatigue that so many feel from endless stress. Oh yes, we work at the same jobs, but we have a different heart. We feel the same pressures to produce results, but we have an inner strength that comes from God's care. We deal with the same frustrations in this world, but we are able to commit them to God and to invite him to work on our behalf. This is the rest that God promises. God asks us to prioritize him, to enter into a place of peace and rest, even in difficult circumstances, by faith. In Psalm 23, David sings of his God with a phrase that captivates my imagination. He says of his God, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Absurd? Think about it. Armies drawn up for battle and a table set with candles and a fine tablecloth and the best of China, right in the middle of it all. That's what God says he offers to you and me. He said, I will give you the kind of renewal that can be experienced in an intimate dinner meal that's shared with friends and family. You know about that. Hey, some of the most renewing times is when the family gathers around the table at the end of the day and shares the day and shares a meal. And you take a deep breath and you say, ah, yes. That's why God says, listen, in the middle of your lives, in the middle of the battles that are ongoing, you can step away to a table that I have prepared in my presence, which will renew you. Interestingly, our idea of recreation usually involves leaving work behind, doesn't it? We talk about a vacation. It comes from the word vacate, which means to empty. We think we've got to go somewhere, empty ourselves of responsibilities to find rest. Jesus has an entirely different idea. Listen. Yes. He says in Matthew 11, 28, 29, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. Addressing you? <laughs> Certainly addressing me. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Join me, Jesus said. Become a part of my team. That's what take my yoke means. It means join in following me. Join me in the work. Join me in being led. And he says, I won't beat you up emotionally. I won't treat you like an object. I won't use you. He said, rather, I will give you a life that matters and lead you to a soul rest. Can you believe that by faith? 
the letter to the Hebrews, talks about a Sabbath rest for the people of God. That doesn't mean a day off from work. It's an invitation to live with rest in our souls that is settled by trust and obedient to the covenant promises of God. That's why we read this. Since we have the promise of entering his rest, let us be careful that we do not fall short of it. For we have had the gospel preached to us just as they did. The message they heard was of no value to them because they did not combine it with faith. God speaking of the people who would not trust him, he said they never found the serenity of peace with him that we can find if we enter into the gospel message. Our friend, we are reconciled to our Father, not because we're good enough or we work hard enough, but because Jesus has a completed work, a grace that he offers us if we simply accept it by faith. True. From that place near the heart of God, where the Spirit speaks to us about his loving acceptance, we can enter our world to do our work and the work of God, not exhausting, but fulfilled. If we are trying to prove to him that we're good enough or we deserve his blessings, we become dutiful, exhausted, people who often serve appearance more than reality. But if we are loving God and serving him from a heart of love, there will be an inner reality that renews and sustains us. Here's Jesus' words. Again, I quoted them earlier, but I want to quote them again. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble in heart. You will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This Monday morning, at the beginning of a new week, God can renew your heart through Jesus Christ. Will you let him? There's a kind of soul rest waiting. It's not the kind of rest you find in a hammock in the backyard in the summer afternoon. It is the rest of serenity and fulfillment and purpose that comes from that solid realization. I am a beloved, cherished child of God. You can know that today. I pray that you will through faith. Join me as we pray for a moment. Father, thank you for this new week. Thank you for the opportunities. May we prioritize your presence in our lives, pausing to think, to pray, to meditate, to receive your grace. Renew our hearts, Lord, making us happy, serene, peaceful people of God, overflowing with the Spirit of God in a world that desperately needs to know you. Shine brightly in us today, I pray, O Lord Jesus Christ, in your holy name. Amen. Friends, thanks for the opportunity of being with you today for Coffee Break. I'll see you tomorrow, God willing. And until then, walk with Jesus.